claws. Ooh. Yes, please forgive my subdued response for I did not realize just how cool these were actually going to be. Coyote here again, and today I am going to show you where to find the hook claws so you can play like everybody's favorite hero, Wolverine. Oh, I am gonna fucking be Wolverine. So now, while getting through the area to actually get to the weapons is not that difficult, there is one big barrier in the way to accessing Stormvale Castle, and that is Margaret the Fell Omen. Let it be Margaret the Fell. While Margaret can be a bit aggravating. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit, Margaret, son of a fucking prick. Ugh. Okay, a lot aggravating. It is absolutely possible to get through him. I was able to do it at level 25 with a simple weapon because I hadn't learned enough about the game yet. I will be doing another video about how I was able to get past him even at such an early level. But once you are able to get past him, it is just a simple walk to be able to get your hook claws. Okay, so here we are at the grace point that you get after defeating Margaret. This is exactly the location of the boss fight. You continue going through the gate that is now accessible to you to come up to Stormvale Castle. You will continue to come up to the front of the gate, which will be closed in your playthrough. And there is another grace point as well right there. You will come off to the left, the only place accessible. Talk to this asshole. I will let you find out how he operates later. Cheeky fellow, that one. But you come through the hole in the wall here do a little bit of old school platforming which is something that I actually really love about these games that they're just kind of an adult darker Zelda which is one of my favorite series but anyway you can just come right up here jumping up the side of the wall as we continue to go over that bird will attack you if you simply go over and drop down there but you'll come over fall to the right where there is yet another grace point. You'll have a couple of enemies you can see up at the top there. Sneak around. We're going to attempt to be a little bit stealthy as we go through and get past these bad boys. There's three enemies. The Torchbearer, which will sound as Vuvuzela to alert his buddies. Don't get knocked off the edge, particularly when you're trying to do a guide and a walkthrough. But... You know, they're welcome to fall, of course. You'll come through to this little tower. There's an item on that guy. Beware of the Molotov thrower up there. You got a couple of very simple enemies. These guys are not a big deal whatsoever, particularly with our fancy Wolverine claws that we have. Now, right under the staircase, continuing to sneak past. You don't have to deal with this enemy if you don't want to. If you're afraid of that big battle axe or just don't want another fight, but he's really not overly difficult. And you come around to the corner on the corpse here. And as you saw in the intro, this is where you will pick up your precious hook claws. I hope you found this guide and walkthrough helpful on your journey to get your own set of hook claws. Please do the YouTube thing and like and subscribe, particularly if you want my tips and advice to get through Margaret in my next video. I will be continuing my blind playthrough over on Twitch, which will be edited down to a version that will also appear here. And while I haven't been using any guides or watching anybody else play, does anybody know where I could loot some yellow spandex, perhaps? Good luck all, and happy hunting in your own Elden Ring adventure.